Best herbs improve circulation in legs and feet. Blood flow in our legs and feet is a dynamic process driven by the pumping action of the heart and the intricate network of blood vessels. Oxygenated blood is pumped from the heart through the arteries, reaching the lower extremities. As it travels, smaller arteries branch into arterioles and then capillaries, facilitating the exchange of oxygen and nutrients with surrounding tissues. Deoxygenated blood is then collected by veins and propelled back towards the heart, aided by one-way valves to prevent backflow. Muscular contractions, especially during movement, play a vital role in supporting venous return, ensuring a continuous and efficient blood circulation to nourish the legs and feet. If you've always got cold hands and feet pins and needles and swelling in your extremities, it could be a sign of poor circulation. Do you feel like your legs could involve a little lift in energy? Say no more, we have quite recently the answer for you. In this captivating video, we investigate the 10 most strong spices that Earth's life-giving force has gifted us to supercharge the blood dissemination in your legs and feet. 1. Ginkgo Biloba Ginkgo has a long history of use in treating blood disorders and memory issues. It is best known today as way to potentially keep your memory sharp. Laboratory studies have shown that ginkgo improves blood circulation by opening up blood vessels and making blood less sticky. It is also an antioxidant. 2. Horse Chestnut Horse chestnut seed extract may improve venous tone by improving blood flow in your legs. Additionally, it may help decrease leg swelling and pain associated with varicose veins. Traditionally used to address venous insufficiency and promote better circulation. 3. Cayenne pepper. It contains a compound known as capsaicin that is thought to be responsible for improving circulation and other benefits, like lowering inflammation. Cayenne is a spicy herb that will warm your body while it boosts circulation. 4. Garlic. Garlic can be helpful for circulation because it helps to prevent blood platelet aggregation. Garlic contains compounds that may improve circulation by relaxing blood vessels and reducing blood pressure. It's also warming, stimulating, and supports healthy cholesterol levels. Incorporate garlic into your cooking. 5. Cinnamon. If you constantly have cold hands and feet, a sign of poor circulation. Cinnamon will boost your circulation, improving blood flow. A cup of cinnamon tea is a great way to get its properties for improving circulation. But you can also use it externally to massage areas that need better blood flow. 6. Ginger. Ginger may help improve blood circulation by dilating blood vessels. Like cayenne, ginger root is a spicy herb that can boost circulation. It's especially beneficial if you have a cold-type constitution, like cold hands and feet due to its warming nature. You can use fresh ginger in cooking or make ginger tea. 7. Go to cola. Poor circulation that can lead to varicose veins and other conditions, venous insufficiency. Taking Godu Cola or a specific extract of Godu Cola, Centalis, by mouth for 4 to 8 weeks, seems to improve blood circulation and reduce swelling in people with poor blood circulation in the legs. 8. Turmeric. Turmeric has been utilized in Chinese medicine since ancient times. It helps to dilate blood vessels and improve circulation. The curcumin found in turmeric helps increase nitric oxide production, reduce oxidative stress, and decrease inflammation. 9. Rosemary. Rosemary promotes blood circulation thus helping to normalize low blood pressure. Moreover, it aids digestion, alleviates muscle and joint pain, and improves concentration. In ancient Greece, rosemary was dedicated to Aphrodite the goddess of love. 10. Hawthorn. Both animal and human studies suggest hawthorn increases coronary artery blood flow, improves circulation, and lowers blood pressure. It has also been used on the skin to treat boils and skin sores. While incorporating these herbs into your diet might be considered 
it's essential to do so cautiously and be aware of potential interactions with medications or underlying health conditions. If you have concerns about leg circulation or any health issues, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Hope you liked the video and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like subscribe and support our channel Miss Healthy.